Well, my friends, it has been a while since I've done a video. So, I thought it was time. So, here we are. It's April 12th. And this is where we are on the build. So, starting off, I think this is what the posts were today. This is of the shuttle bay. Let me see if I can get in here. Kind of where I am. That is five hours of work, and it's only halfway done. Plus, a good friend of mine just said, "Hey, don't forget to drill out the light or the windows." It's kind of frustrating because a, I don't know my subject matter that well. B, um, my skills are having to really increase, and more importantly, on this portion, the shuttle bay, no one will ever really see this detail. You'll get a shot of it. I think I'll leave the shuttle bay doors open slightly. Um, this will all be lit as well. So it gives you an idea. And of course it's missing warp cores. It's missing all the shuttles that go in the shuttle bay. They really came together okay. So this was five hours of work. So just to give you an idea of what we're up against. You can get a scale here by the newspaper. Um, how about my hand? <laughs> Dirty nails. Alright, so that is just five hours of half of one item. And keep in mind, it's going to be lit inside. But let's give you an idea of what all is included here. So there's that. These are just the tools that are needed to build this monster. There's my battery for my drill. There's a Dremel. There's my air compressor back there. Um, let's give you some extras. These are the photo etched. These are the high end decals. This is some of the work I've gotten done already. Don't know if you can see this. Uh, let me see here. How's that? That's the officer's lounge. Um, this is the rec deck. You can look in there. And this is the uh, arboretum. You can look in there and see all the pretty trees and everything. And that's going to be lit too. So these are the things that are going to go inside the hall. And of course we had to do some drilling here on these guys. And we're lighting this kit, so let's just put this together. So all of this, right here, five hours, is going to go into all of this. Yeah, lots of work. So this is the lighting kit that I got. How about six coats of paint done on this? And of course we had to drill holes because what you're doing is this model came out. This is just a sample. This model originally came out just as a static plastic model. And then of course all those Trekkies got a hold of it and started or they wanted more and they started figuring out how to modify it, how to adjust it. And they were doing their own soldering and they were doing all their own things and it got to be crazy um, so now the light kits are available all those extras that I showed you were available and everybody's trying to build these models I have seen finished products that are stunning um, we're not even oh my gosh we're not even 20th of the way there um, really what I should be doing is kind of finishing out the drilling and dremeling to get the wiring in place but um, I don't know my subject matter that well, not like I did with the Titanic. Um, but to give me an idea, once she's done, <laughs> don't get sick on me. Um, that's what she's going to look like. Now, I got this poster made. That's the A. So as you can tell, this is from the movie. It's not the original series. It's not the 2009 and the 2014 movie with Chris Pine. Um, that is five feet. The original, I could have had it printed out to 11 feet. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to frame that or not. Depends on how my model comes out, quite honestly. But I thought it was time to give you a video update. I want to thank everybody on all the forums. Gary and Chris and everyone and all my friends who are having to put up with this again so thanks and I will upload this to video um, to Facebook and we'll see you soon bye